I lost a lot of weight this year. Again, I'm a fucking yo-yo. Like, if you've been coming for a few years, you'll know you'll either see me as Fat Paul or Thin Paul. <laughs> and the weird thing I do is I just eat loads over winter and then I'll start getting like thin in the summer. Started on that MyFitnessPal. It's fucking horrible. Hey, do you do this, right? Have you started lying to me yet? No. Like, you'll eat a fucking dairy milk. I'm like, I can't tell MyFitnessPal that. <laughs> Do you, do you ever wait till midnight so you get tomorrow's calories so you can eat something? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're skinny as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> Every year that I do it, I was really struggling this year. My mate went to him. You know what you want to do? What's happening is you're not getting a good base. Go, go to a personal trainer. Just do it for a few months, like three to six months. Get yourself in dead good shape. And then once you're there, you've got your base. You'll be able to maintain. It'll be sweet, right? So I was like, okay, I've done that. So I went to this fella. He's on the back of an MMA fighter's gym. I don't know why the fuck I thought that'd be the right place for me. <laughs> but I went to him anyway. His name's Brian, he's fucking nuts. And the first time I went in, I, I walked into him and I was like, oh yeah, right. And it wasn't like, an, like I've been to gyms before, you know, like where it's like fucking dead big and posh and like they have a, they, a fucking gorgeous personal trainer. They'll be like, hi, what are your goals and all that shit? And they'll be like, tellies with the treadmills and all that shit. Well, it wasn't not like that. It was like a tiny little room. Just one little tiny treadmill, and it wasn't like a boss one with a telly in. It was just two bars, little LED console track. There was a fucking Rottweiler chained up behind it. <laughs> and the rest of the room was just like chains and weights. It was like a fucking S&M dungeon, right? It was, um <laughs> I walked in and I was like, oh fuck, what am I in here? Right, and he's just, he's mad, he's, he's about six, eight. And he's fucking, he used to be in the Foreign Legion. He's got like a weird twitch in his eye. He didn't even look at me when I walked in. I was stood there, and then he turned around. I caught his eye and I was like, hey mate, and he just went, what? <laughs> right? And you expect a warm welcome when you go into a gym to join, but I was like, oh, oh um, I'm here for some, uh, I'm here for some personal training. And he went, <laughs> 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 you're here for personal training in this gym. And I went, yeah. And he went, are you sure? <laughs> I went, yeah. He went, okay, okay, okay. One question for you. And I was expecting him to say, what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? No, he just looked me up and down and went, are you a pussy? <laughs> and I was like, what? And he went, are you a fucking pussy? It's not a hard question, mate. Are you a fucking pussy? <laughs> and I'd never asked myself that question before. <laughs> but now that he was asking me very forcefully, I thought, shit, I'm a pussy. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. <laughs> but I was frozen and I was terrified of him. And I was just stood there going, uh, and he was like, come on, mate. Are you a pussy? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he went, right, that's all I needed to know. We don't have pussies in this gym. I, I can get you to the peak of physical fitness. But what I need to know, I need to know your base. I need to know where you're at now. I'm going to give you my own patented fitness test called the 200 test. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get you on this treadmill. I'm going to do 10 minutes. And I was like, okay. I've done, I've done like five, 10 minutes on a treadmill before. I thought that weren't too bad. Obviously, I had that deal or no deal to watch or some shit. But I was like, okay, <laughs> get on with this. I steps on this treadmill, I starts jogging right. I'm like, okay, that's good, okay, it's fine. Gets a little bit faster, I'm like, okay, sounds good, good. Gets like four minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling this a little bit, but I think I'll get there. Gets to five minutes, I'm like, oh, oh it is a bit hard, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, not a, not a big jogging fan, not a big jogging fan. Oh, gets to six minutes, I'm like, oh, I'm sure there's something, something wrong with this clock here, you know what I mean? Gets to seven minutes, I'm like, ooh, ooh, this is a hard test, this man. I don't think I'm gonna pass this test, you know. <laughs> ooh. Eight minutes, I'm like, oh, fucking hell, man. Ooh, nine minutes, I'm like, come on, here. one more, you can do this, you're gonna pass this test now. Nine minutes, 57, nine minutes, 58, nine minutes, 59. 10 minutes, I went, yes, he went, right. You should be getting warm now. <laughs> We're about to start the test, and I was like, Oh shit, right? He goes, right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the speed of the treadmill up. So you run a bit faster, so I was like, okay. <laughs> oh no, that's a bit faster. No, it's a bit fast. Have you ever been on a treadmill? Right? And it's going a bit too fast for you. And you can't keep the pace of the treadmill. And you keep it the, at the back of the treadmill. Like, Sh shit, I'm at the back of the treadmill. <laughs> But then you speed up, you overcompensate, you run too fast then. And your big fat fucking belly's on the console of the treadmill. You're like, I can't get the speed right! And he keeps asking me every couple of minutes, he goes, right, scale of one to ten pain wise. Where are you? Right, so I'm like, I don't know. 
And I know I can't say 10. <laughs> so he doesn't have pussies in his gym. <laughs> so I'm like, nine. <laughs> nine and a half, right? Then it gets harder. I was right. 200 tests. What are you going to do every 200 meters? You're going to jump off the treadmill while it's going. <laughs> Which is fucking stupid. <laughs> Never do that. It's fucking ridiculous because you gotta like jump off the treadmill like that. You gotta jump off, and then it gives you exercise too, like press ups or sit ups, some shit, some shit like that. Then you gotta jump back on the treadmill, high intensity training. Jump back on the treadmill while it's going. Just fucking stupid. <laughs> Never do it. So what you gotta do? Lift yourself on the side. Try and get your feet to kind of get the rhythm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Nah, I can't do this. It's hurting. Half an hour of this shit. Half an hour he had me doing this, right? And I felt like I was gonna die, right? He was fucking mean to me. I was like, I don't wanna be here, right? Then he starts to get a little bit motivational. He's like, you're doing that well now, Paul. Well done, mate. You're almost there. I was like, oh, I can get in. He's like, we're almost done. All we're gonna do, we're gonna take the treadmill to the top incline. You can run to the top of the hill, then you're done. I was like, okay, I can do that. He turns it up, gets faster. I was like, oh, fuck it. He's like, come on, Paul, you can do it. I started to believe in me, though. I never, I never felt like this before. I was like, I can fucking do this. Come on, Paul, you can fucking do it, lad. Let's go. Yes. And he's like, come on, Paul. And I'm like, wow. And he's like, come on, Paul. And I was like, yeah. And my brain's going, come on, Paul. I'm like, wow. My body's going, come on, Paul! I'm like, yeah, my heart's going, come on, Paul! I'm like, yeah! And my legs just went, no! <laughs> no more. And I fell off a treadmill. Which is fucking stupid, man. <laughs> Don't know if you ever fell off a treadmill, right? <sighs> but if you have, you'll know. What happens is, right? Weird situation, very disorientating. So what happens is your legs start going this way, and your head hits the console. Bang! And much like being hit in the head by anything else, you get confused, like shit. Your brain's like, oh, what the fuck's going on there, mate? <laughs> You've been hitting the head by something here. <laughs> but if you add your legs going that way to it, it's a lot of information for your brain to take. Your brain just goes, you've been a dickhead here. <laughs> I'm gonna see you on the other side of this. <laughs> you are on your own, mate. <laughs> your brain switches off. And then you hit the base of the treadmill, right? And everything in your subconscious, everything in your DNA, everything written in your fucking fiber will tell you at this point, you are now horizontal. <laughs> that is definitely the end of the fall over. You're now safe to relax. <laughs> at which point, just for a split second, you'll go, ah. <sighs> then you're fired off the treadmill. <laughs> At 15 miles an hour. <laughs> and I flew off that treadmill like a fucking raggy doll. <laughs> Swear to God. I knocked his Rottweiler out. <laughs> Killed him. Man. And I woke up. I woke up about... Probably about five minutes later. Nose pissing with blood. Just crying my fucking eyes out. <laughs> I'd shit myself. <laughs> Our SPCA was there for his dog. <laughs> no nurse for me, mate. No ambulance, nothing. Just a fucking giant of a man stood over me. Just looking down, shaking his head. And I was like, help me. <laughs> he just looked down and went, I fucking knew you were a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I never went back, but I keep doing that joke, I've lost like two stone. <laughs> <laughs>